to be heard by the City Council next month. Agendas can be found at Topeka.org. For cases that require public hearings, the procedure will be as follows. First, the Planning Department staff will summarize the case. Next, we will hear from the applicant or their representative. Then we will receive public testimony. Public comments should be addressed solely to the chair and are limited to four minutes. Chris, please take roll. Mr. Armstrong is not here. Mr. Dean? Here. Mr. Freed? Here. Ms. Heron? Here. Mr. Kanar? Here. Mr. Kelp? Here. Ms. Messina is not on this evening. Ms. Ringler? Here. And Mr. Warner? Here. We have seven present for a quorum. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is the approval of the minutes from the April 19th, 2021 meeting. Is there anyone who wishes to offer any changes or revisions to the minutes that were sent out? Not seeing any, I would then uh, request uh, a motion to approve the minutes. Motion to approve the minutes. This is Corey and Dean. Second. Uh, Second by Commissioner Kalp, I believe. Yes. Uh, Chris, would you please call for the vote? Mr. Dean. Aye. Mr. Freed. Abstain. Ms. Heron. Aye. Mr. Kanar. Aye. Mr. Kalp. Aye. Ms. Wrangler. Aye. And Mr. Warner. Aye. Okay, motion passes 6-0 with one abstaining. All right, next item is item C, declaration of conflict of interest, ex parte communications by members of the commission or the staff. Do we have any such notifications this evening? All right, not receiving, seeing any indication. We will then move on to item D, which is action items. Uh, item P2109, Sherwood Park subdivision number nine, preliminary and final plat by RMD Development LLC on property located one half mile west of Southwest Indian Hills Road and north of Southwest 29th Street. Uh, Ms. Farenbrook. Thank you, Chair. Major Platt, case P2109, uh, Sherwood Park subdivision number nine. Uh, this is the preliminary and final plat phases. The site is 38.65 acres uh, north of Southwest 20, uh, 29th Street and east of Auburn Road. The subdivision will add 94 new lots with an overall density of three dwelling units per acre. The preliminary plat uh, was a preliminary plat, excuse me, was done in 2005. However, no final plat uh, was done and that preliminary plat has expired. Next slide, please. The applicant hosted a neighborhood information meeting on April 21st, 2021 via Zoom meeting. Uh, questions addressed uh, were the stormwater drainage on the east side of the subdivision and uh, traffic impact um, on Southwest 26th Street east of the proposed subdivision. And uh, we'll look at the outcome on the next slide, please. Uh, revised in uh, response to the concerns um, about the, the volume and the speed of traffic on, on Southwest 26th Street east of the proposed plat, uh, the applicant uh, closed uh, the Southwest uh, 26th Street with a cul-de-sac um, on the east side of the plat. Uh, the traffic would then, um, for the subdivision, would be directed to flow north on um, 
Ava Street into the county um, or south on Sherwood Park Drive to 29th Street. Uh, Southwest 26th Street will connect to Auburn Road um, in the west with a possible uh, future development. Next slide, please. Utilities and streets uh, will be built in phases uh, by the developer. New streets um, and connections will be uh, Ava Street to connect north and south uh, in the middle of the subdivision. Uh, southwest uh, Sherwood Park Drive to connect to Southwest 26 uh, Terrace uh, provided an east-west connection in the south of the subdivision. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, there will be uh, five phases. Uh, phase one at the southeast corner of the subdivision includes 18 lots and a track A, which is a SME or uh, stormwater management easement for a dry detention basin combined with underground chambers to manage the stormwater. Uh, phases two and four include 14 and 16 lots respectively. Uh, phases three and five include 15 and 31 lots with each containing tracks for dry detention basins for managing stormwater. Uh, next slide, please. This is the uh, revised final plat. And if I may, um, a last minute note. Um, just before the, the meeting, page three of the staff report um, at the top of the page um, in the recommended uh, conditions of approval uh, refers to the applicant's request for a variance uh, to sub subdivision code requirement uh, that is a 16 foot wide uh, UE or utility easement uh, to be dedicated along the perimeter boundary of the subdivision. Uh, staff has discussed this with the applicant and the preliminary plat and the final plat attached to the staff report include the required UE and the applicant is no longer requesting a variance and please disregard the reference to that variance request in the staff report. Uh, next slide, please. Thank you for your time and I can take any questions. Are there any questions for staff? Not seeing any, I would then ask for the applicant or their representative. Uh, good evening, uh, Jeff Lawback, uh, SBB Engineering. Uh, <clears throat> uh, we're here for any questions. Uh, Mike Trepe is also here. Um, uh, Melissa did a great job summarizing the project and uh, I believe we addressed uh, some of the city's concerned and some of the neighbors concerns um, as we worked through the process and uh, we're we're here if you have any questions any questions uh, for the representative of the uh, owner I'm not seeing any. I, I do have a question that I probably should have raised with staff uh, beforehand. I I noticed there was a change in the plat of how 26th Street flowed um, into this new subdivision. And I didn't know, um, is there some sort of desire to have connectivity between subdivisions when we're doing this? Because in effect, there's there's no except for a cul-de-sac for six homes, there's no way to get in from the Eastern subdivision into that without going south and around and coming back up north from Ava. I didn't know if that's, there's some thought about having some uh, direct connectivity between subdivisions. Mr. Chairman, I can answer that question unless Melissa wants to answer it. Mike, Melissa, go ahead. You, okay, so, yeah. uh, the policy in our long range plan and land use and growth management plan, it, it uh, definitely has a preference for connecting streets from subdivision to subdivision. I mean, that's, that's how street networks are built and that's a, that's a desire, but it does not, it does not uh, fully support having collectors that run through subdivisions uh, in a direct fashion. 
it it the policy is to inhibit high volume and high speed through traffic. So it doesn't, in other words, the policy preference is not to just totally cut off connectivity, but it's to inhibit high volume, high speed traffic on collectors running through subdivisions from subdivision to subdivision. And so the, the revision in the, in the street network as shown in the slide, that's consistent with policy. Um, well, thank you, Mr. Hall, and I understand that, but since 26th Street was going to end in about three more lots anyway under the original subdivision, and then you'd have a connection more into the subdivision, uh, is, is that going to make that much of a difference from the high-speed traffic versus the lack of connection through the subdivisions? Just, just wondering. I don't know if uh, Chris can pull up that slide that shows the two side by side. Would you be able to do that, Chris? Yeah, so on the left is the initial plat submittal. And so it requires a jog in the 26th Street. It still allows through traffic on 26th Street. With the revision, it does not allow, a, 26th Street really does not go through. Um, the traffic that goes through comes from the south east corner of the subdivision. The reason why this was such an issue is our traffic engineers received complaints about speeding traffic on 26th Street east of, of the subdivision. So this this subdivision is not going to necessarily solve that problem, but it won't really exacerbate the problem because it only adds about, let me see, there are, it adds 10 lots to 26th Street. So we think it's going to make a significant difference. It's not going to make, let me rephrase that. We think the revised uh, plat is going to be uh, much less of a, a threat to 26th Street and the subdivision to the to the east than would the uh, initial plat submittal. All right, thank you. Are there any other questions anyone has for staff or any comments about the uh, proposed plats? Uh, Mr. Chairman? Yes, sir. Uh, Mike, when you're talking about 26th Street, are you referring to 26th Court or 26th uh, Terrace? If if you can look at that previous slide, uh, right? So I think it's the next one. There, that one, right? The one with the arrows. Okay, where, where the 26th Street ends in a cul-de-sac there. So where that ends in a cul-de-sac, at that point, it becomes 26th Court, but it connects to 26th Street, east of the subdivision. Right, okay. And, and so, it, yeah. If you were to look at the larger map, and, and perhaps we can look at the aerial photo, you can see that, 26th Street is, is a more or less straight connection from the east edge of this subdivision to Indian Hills Road to the, to the east, to the far east there. So it kind of, you kind of see 26th Street. It's not, it's not a st perfectly straight alignment, but there's not much to inhibit traffic. And that was the concern uh, when we had the neighborhood information meeting, uh, that was a concern that was raised actually prior to that meeting. And uh, we were aware of the issue. Our traffic engineer received complaints even before this plat was submitted um, about this. And uh, even one of the, the, the council member for this district 
Councilmember Duncan was on the call, and and he he expressed some concern as well, and so we felt that uh, the the revised plat was a pretty good uh, a pretty good solution. It still allows for connectivity, but it just it prevents a, a problem from getting much worse. And fire department, um, the fire department reviews these as part of the, the the city's review, right? That's correct. They reviewed the initial phase, or excuse me, the initial plat submittal, and they reviewed and support the revised plat submittal, including the phasing plan. And Mike, just one other question, Mike. Uh, and in the phase one, lot one. I guess it's block A, lot one. Okay. Uh, yes. And does, it, does that lot take, it, it appears that it takes access off the extension of Ava or Ava Street? That's correct. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Are there any other questions or comments about the plan? If not, I'll entertain a motion. Do you need to ask for public comment? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I forget to ask for that? I apologize. Uh, yes, we need to ask for public comment. So is there anyone from the public that would wish to comment? Sorry, I wasn't seeing anyone on other than, but I'm not seeing any. I was giving you a hard time. <laughs> well, that's a good call. We need to uh, need to address that. All right. Uh, there's no more public comments, so we'll bring the public hearing to a close. Um, and then is there any further questions or comments? Okay, now at this time, uh, thank you, Commissioner Dean. I would entertain a motion regarding uh, the plan. I'll make a motion to approve the uh, plat as presented. Second. Okay. And and for clarification, is that subject to the conditions as stated in the report? Yes. Okay. All right. So we have a motion and a second. Uh, Chris, will you take roll, please? Okay. We're going to go from the bottom this time. Mr. Warner. Hi. Ms. Wrangler? Hi. Mr. Kelp? Aye. Mr. Kennard? Aye. Ms. Heron? Aye. Mr. Freed? Aye. And Mr. Dean? Aye. Motion passes 7 0. Great. Thank you. Uh, next item is item E communications to the commission. Uh, Mr. Chair, I'll uh, handle that tonight. Uh, just a couple. One, uh, you probably saw or, or heard the Sport Zone PUD was approved last week by a, a vote of nine to one. So it will not be coming back to you. Uh, <clears throat> hold your applause. And then. Um, uh, so they'll be moving forward with that. And then the other one is just uh, kind of an update on meetings. Uh, we were, again, we're, we're pretty much on a month-to-month -month basis right now as far as our where we have our meetings. I think we'll continue looking at our agenda next month to continue with Zoom uh, and uh, our virtual meeting pattern. Uh, should we come to a point where we begin to feel like we've got some agenda items that uh, we'll, we'll, we will need to better accommodate the public or longer uh, meetings. 
um, I, I think we are ready and able to uh, revert back to our in-person uh, meetings. If any of you have any strong feelings one way or the other, uh, I'm definitely open to, to listening. Uh, many of our committees and, and commissions or boards uh, have continued to stay the virtual route. Um, and But I, I do think you are a little more unique in needing to accommodate the public uh, more with, with your your items. So um, that's why we're sort of playing this a little bit by year. Uh, just our crystal ball next month looks to be a very similar type of meeting that you just had tonight. Um, so uh, again, uh, not to confuse anybody, but I think um, at that point, that's where we're at. And again, if you have any, any uh, viewpoints you want to share, I, I, I'd be all open to it. So um, I, for those of you who, I, I think most of you have been at our in-person meetings, but it does take a bit of a production to put on, um, including security and having police uh, present at the meeting, uh, opening up the building, obviously getting it on uh, uh, City 4, uh, even though it's it's being streamed right now, I believe. Chris, is that right? Is it being streamed right now? So we're accomplishing a lot of, well, everything that we would normally have at an in-person meeting uh, other than being in person. Um, and I think accommodating the public comment uh, and the public is a little, a, a little uh, better accommodated uh, in in person, but again, we don't we haven't had that type of a of an agenda um, in the last uh, or this month or, or the coming months. So we'll stay the course unless I hear uh, unless I hear an, an outcry or other thoughts uh, for now. If, if you have any thoughts now, please let me know or questions. Thank you all. Thank you, Ms. Feyender. Anything else for the uh, good of the cause? Um, not hearing or seeing anything, uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. A motion to adjourn, Commissioner Dean. Second, Katrina everywhere. All right, and we are adjourned. Thank, Thank you, everyone. See you next month. Bye. Good evening. Thank you.